Hey, I'm Randy and I'm the Cheap Audio Man. Here at the Cheap Audio Man, we don't feel like an entire hi-fi system should cost more than replacing a set of tires or even two tires. I'm gonna show you how. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee and let's put together a hi-fi system for less than $350. Today's sponsor is Jacques Cousteau's Marine Biology Toys. They're a lot of fun for the kids. They're really small and they don't hurt at all when you step on them. Jacques Cousteau's Marine Biology Toys. The kids are going to love them and it's going to inspire imagination. An audio file system for less than $350? It can't be done, Randy. Oh yes it can, viewer. All right, so let's start off. First, you're gonna need the thing that everybody loves, speakers. Who doesn't love speakers? And we're gonna, we're gonna go with the really popular Sony SS-CS5. They are currently $118 on Amazon. They go all the way up to 150 and all the way down to $75, depending upon what time of year it is. Usually around Black Friday or Cyber Monday or the holidays, they'll go down to $75. But they're on set, they're at their middle price right now. They have 150, 118, and 75. Right now they're at 118, which is still a really good price for those speakers. Now, they're not the fullest of all speakers on the bottom end, but you can shove them up against the wall and get some of that bass to come back. Now, they're very detailed. They're very lovely. They image well. They are a fantastic speaker for $118. Now, if you want something different, you can look at the Numi BS5. All these are gonna be linked in the description. The Numi BS5 is $99. It is a front ported five and a quarter inch. I don't have it right now. I actually gave them away to someone that didn't have speakers. Anyway, they're five and a quarter inch, uh, one inch soft dome tweeter, very good waveguide, front ported. So if you wanna use them now for like a desktop or small system and you wanna move them to be like rear surrounds or something like that, the Numis are probably gonna be pretty good for that. Frankly, the Sonys will be too. Anyway, both very good speakers. The Numis are a bit more relaxed on the top end. I'm not saying they're like rolled off, but they're pretty neutral, but they are a fantastic speaker and that's $99. If you really want to step it up, now we're getting outside of the $350 range. So the Numi or the Sony's are going to keep us within our $350 budget. Okay. If you want to step up and you got a little bit of extra coin, cash, dough in the wallet, the ELAC debut B 6.2s are currently on sale for $250. You can get an Amazon warehouse deal for like $217. Fantastic price. I will say if you get those speakers, be prepared to break them in for a long time. And I know some people are going to say there's no such thing as breaking. Yeah, I'm here to tell you that for myself personally, there is such a thing as breaking, okay? And it has a lot to do with the woofer anyway. And my friends who I talk to on a regular basis also agree that the ELAC Debut B 6.2s take a significant amount of breaking, but once they do, they're pretty awesome. Well, what good is a speaker if we don't have anything driving it? Not driving like a bus, car, motorcycle, or three-wheeler. That's an old ATV that was wildly dangerous and many people got injuries from three wheelers, okay? Anyway, we need an amp to power them. Well, guess what? We have the Aima. I don't know if this is gonna show up. I'm not doing any B-roll today for this thing. Aima A07, yay! Very, very good little amp. This is my favorite amp, and frankly, this is the amp I use on my desktop to drive all of my speakers, because this thing is a, a, a power puncher. I don't know, that didn't sound very good. This thing has a lot of power. It comes with a 32 volt power supply, can be had for $79.99, but guess what? There's a 5% off coupon. So 
5% of $79.99 is basically $4. So you can get this right now for $76, all right? 32 volt power supply, you can upgrade that power supply later to get even more power out of this. This thing sounds great and is probably my favorite thing under $100 to recommend. The IEMA A07 or 07. I don't know if it's a zero or an O. It doesn't matter. Well, that's fine, Randy, but you need a source. How can we possibly get a source and still be under $350? Well, guess what? IEMA has you covered again, but let's do a little math, okay? So $75, all right, plus $118 is $193. I have a little bit of problem doing math when I'm being recording, when I'm recording myself. So we're at $193 if you go with the Sonys, okay? If you go with the Numis, that math is pretty easy. It's $75 plus $100, so that's $175, all right? If you go with the Elax, that's $325, okay? But we need a source. We need a source. How about if there was something that had Bluetooth, it had a headphone amp, and it had a fully functioning DAC that takes USB optical or coaxial inputs, which means you can use your phone or your tablet to Bluetooth or your computer or a CD player or CD transport, which can be an old DVD player with an optical out, or any of those for $125, which incidentally also has a 5% coupon. Well, I'd say you're lying, but I already know the answer and you're not lying. It's the IEMA, again, T8. I just did a, a review on this. Come on now, there we go. Look at this thing. It's made out of metal. It's got a tube on the top for your tube amp. It's a DAC and where's the remote? It has a fully functioning remote. Not only does it have a fully functioning remote, it has tone controls, which means those Sony's that didn't have a lot of bass just pop up the bass on the old remote control. And now you've got a speaker that you can tailor to your taste. So on the back, if you want to watch my full review, you can, but here's the deal. You have full-size USB, you have coax, you have an optical in, RCA in and RCA out, which means if you want to put a, like an external phono preamp running into here or anything else that has RCAs, you can run it into here as well. Also as a headphone amp. This is one of the biggest values in hi-fi right now. The DAC in here is a Saber DAC, okay? It's very good for the price, but you have to consider you're getting a headphone amp, you're getting a DAC, and you're getting a preamp, and that DAC can do Bluetooth, okay? The RCA out of here sounds very good. I was running RCA today, and I was really enjoying the music, bobbing my head to the music. But there's another option. You can take a line out of the 3.5 millimeter into RCA and run that into your A07 or A07, and now you get some tubey goodness in the music. So you can either go regular RCA, or you can do a 3.5 millimeter to RCA, and you get to use the tube. How cool is that? $125 with the coupon, it's 130. Anyway, these two together, 200 bucks. You have Bluetooth, you have a headphone amp, you have a fully functioning DAC and you have a pair of RCA in. It's pretty good, $200. Which means if you add the Sony's onto that, that's $318. I also have some cables in the description. Even with buying a set of RCA's and a 3.5 millimeter to RCA out, it's still like $335. It's even cheaper if you go with the Numis. Then you have about 16 bucks or 15 bucks left over to buy some speaker cable or pay some taxes. Either way, it's all under $350. If you wanna bump the budget up and get the ELAC Debut B 6.2, your budget's gonna go up about $100, right around 460 or so. Again, you're gonna to have to get some cables and stuff like that. But this little amp and that little DAC preamp thing can grow with you. They I actually was running a $1,000 pair of ELAC Unify Reference off of it, and I didn't miss anything. 
So whatever you do, I would build your system around the IEMA A07. Now, if you want an all-in-one product, you can look at the SMSL SA300. It's $140, and they do have those in stock. You can also look at the LOXG A30. Those are no longer in stock anymore. Personally, I think the IEMA A07 and the IEMA T8 are a wonderful foundation for any system and any speaker. Now, no subwoofer, no subwoofer out on this little section. If you want to sub out, you can get the SA300 or the LOXG A30. I actually think the IEMA sounds better. It sounds better than either of those. If you want to do a sub out, you can do speaker level outs. So obviously you'd want a subwoofer that has speaker level inputs. Some subs also have a RCA in and an RCA out. So what you would do, what one would do, is they would take the RCA out of the preamp into the sub and then the sub into the amp. Interesting thing is there are some subs out there like the SE8 or the SE12 from Emotiva that put a high pass filter. When you can put a high pass filter on your speakers, those speakers actually can go louder without distorting as much because now they're not trying to handle all the low bass frequencies. Either way, $350 can get you a wonderful sounding system and one that I could happily live with and frankly probably will be living with in another room because I'm using this and I'm using this and some speakers in my daughter's room and it's gonna be awesome. So don't let anybody tell you that you need to spend a ton of money to enjoy music. You don't. And it's never been a better time to be in hi-fi than right now. 350 bucks, that's pretty awesome. If you wanna support the channel, you can use any of the links in the description. I get a small commission if you use those links to purchase anything. You can also sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio man. Every Sunday night, we have patron-only Zooms. We also have a patron-only Facebook group. You can also sign up for Amazon Music. And now, if you sign up for Amazon Music, you actually get three months of Disney Plus for free. Wish I would have known that. We're also doing a raffle. CSS Audio reached out to me to do a raffle to benefit a charity called Homes for Our Troops. It is for veterans who have been injured in the line of duty. There's a link in the description. Click on the link and it will take you to the home page and it'll tell you all the details and everything that is being given away. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Eat some beans and rice for a couple of months, scrape together 350 bucks and buy yourself an awesome little hi-fi system. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.